this is Jerry Enchantress, and I'm going to do a little numerology talk on the number 25 from the Linda Goodman Star Signs book. And the title of 25 is <clears throat> Discrimination and Analysis. But in this day and age, discrimination is kind of a hot button word, so I'm going to just put my own word as discernment and analysis. And here's some, it's kind of, I came up with the image of the thinking, the thinker, the thinking man. <clears throat> and of course, you know, spiritualists, tarot readers, fortune tellers, kind of go into that category. Let me go ahead and read to you the definition or the description. 25 bestows spiritual wisdom gained through careful observation of people and things and worldly success by learning through experience. Its strength comes from overcoming disappointments in the early life and possessing the care, the rare quality of learning from past mistakes. The judgment is excellent, but it's not a material number. Therefore, financial benefits of a substantial nature may be gained through other compound numbers in the full birth and numerological analysis. <laughs> so basically, uh, if you want to use the number 25 as the birth number of your business, for instance, you might want to choose a different number if you can. Uh, because it won't, it's not necessarily a big financial gain type number. Not that it, it won't be good financially because in general sense it is still a very fortunate number and fortunate numbers still attract all kinds of positive energy so you still might gain some financial success. But it's not quite as abundant, let's say, naturally abundant as some of the other numbers. And uh, I'm just going to look over some of these cards that I chose to represent 25. Um, as I said before, the tarot ends in 21, the world card. So there is no real symbolic represent representation of 25. And discernment analysis, but um, here's the, the chariot. The chariot um, twenty five um, goes down to the number seven, and number seven is the number for Neptune and Pisces. So it will carry with that, anything that adds up to the number seven carries that kind of influence too. So if you know any, you know about astrology, Pisces is not necessarily a financial kind of number, it's more of a spiritual number. And Neptune is more of that, more of kind of a dream world, dreamy kind of planet, and not so much about money matters. But the chariot is a seven, and it has a really beautiful symbology. And it's a positive kind of coming forward. Being, being bold, being strong, it's triumph over obstacles and achieving victory and focusing on intent and will and establishing an identity and having self-confidence and maintaining discipline, assuming the reins of power and authority in driving with unwavering certainty and with cause. So whatever just cause that you believe in 
So if you are not really interested in finances, but you are interested in bringing about a just and positive change, 25 is a good number. Page of Swords also has kind of a nice meaning. It's, um, So it, it, she embodies honesty, or he. In this deck, the pages are like princesses. She, she embodies truthfulness and is afraid to scrutinize her beliefs, it's logic, what dominates her the most, and her mind is agile and analytical. So she's the analytical page of the pages. Here's another page. She might be also a little analytical, but she's uh, like a little bolder. She's a student though, studious. I love how the pentacles have dragons. And I love also how the cups have mermaids. But the uh, page, she's trustworthy and diligent, studious, and embraces scholarship. She's practical down to earth and unafraid to embrace the world of physical enjoyment. She, to me, the she looked like she was analyzing or studying. All right, now we'll have a look at, at the justice card here. I like how justice weighs both sides. To me, in discernment, discrimination, analysis, you kind of have to look at both sides of an issue. She represents balance, harmony, equilibrium, assuming responsibility, weighing all sides of an issue before making a decision, choosing with full awareness. The justice relies on a logical mind capable of objective ruling on situations and adjusting what needs assessment. my angel cards I wasn't sure I'd find something but meditation brings answers so true I mean to me this is a very good 27 compound 7 single number because 27 is analyze, analyzing people but you you can observe and look around and see what you see, and then you take that inward and meditate on it. That's exactly what we do, what I've been doing anyway. <laughs> so, meditation brings answers. Something you might like to try. Anyway, that's number 27. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And one of my kids on the bus, it's his birthday today, so I'll be sending positive messages to him. Alright, have a lovely day, and um, stay tuned for more tarot readings and numerology and whatever else you guys are interested in. Please like, subscribe, post a comment, and give me suggestions. Thank you.